in q cycle the substrate for complex 3 is coqh2 coqh2 is generated by enzymes like nadh coq reductase or complex 1 succinate coq reductase or complex 2 complex 3 and etfqo the q cycle occurs in two stages in stage 1 of q cycle a reduced coqh2 molecule present in the inner mitochondrial membrane binds to the qo site qo site is present on the intermembrane space side of the transmembrane portion of coqh2 cytochrome c reductase or complex 3 or cytochrome bc1 in the qo site the reduced coqh2 releases 2 h plus ions or 2 protons into the intermembrane space and 2 electrons let us discuss about the fate of 2 electrons released from reduced coqh2 one of the two electrons released from coqh2 first moves from qo site to an iron sulfur protein or fes protein and then the electron moves from fes protein to cytochrome c1 and finally the electron moves from cytochrome c1 to cytochrome c another electron out of the two electrons released from reduced coqh2 first moves from qo site to cytochrome bl and then the electron moves from cytochrome bl to cytochrome bh and finally the electron moves from cytochrome bh to qi site in complex 3 the qi site is present on the matrix side of the transmembrane portion of complex 3. In the QO site, due to the release of 2 H plus ions or 2 protons and 2 electrons from reduced COQH2, a COQ is produced. The COQ then dissociates from the QO site and reaches to the inner mitochondrial membrane. A new oxidized COQ molecule binds to the QI site in the complex 3. In the QI site, one electron released from reduced COQH2 then partially reduces the bound oxidized COQ molecule. As a result, a COQ semiquinone anion or Q minus dot is formed in the QI site. The cytochrome C shuttles one electron from complex 3 to complex IV. Another cytochrome C then binds to the complex 3. In the stage 2 of Q cycle, a second COQH2 molecule binds to the QO site. In the QO site, the reduced COQH2 releases 2 H plus ions into the intermembrane space and 2 electrons. As discussed previously, one of the 2 electrons released from reduced COQH2 first moves from QO site to an iron sulfur protein and then the electron moves from iron sulfur protein to cytochrome C1 and finally the electron moves from cytochrome C1 to cytochrome C. Another electron out of the two electrons released from reduced COQH2 first moves from QO site to the cytochrome BL and then the electron moves from cytochrome BL to cytochrome BH and finally the electron moves from cytochrome BH to QI site in complex 3. 
in the Q was side due to the release of 2 H plus ions and 2 electrons from reduced COQ H2, a COQ is produced. The COQ then dissociates from the QO site and reaches to the inner mitochondrial membrane. One electron released from reduced COQ H2 is added to COQ semiquinone anion or Q minus dot present at the QI site. 2H plus ions present in the mitochondrial matrix are also added to the Q minus dot or COQ semiquinone anion present in the QI site. As a result, a fully reduced COQ H2 molecule is produced at the QI site. This fully reduced COQ H2 molecule dissociates from the QI site. As a result, the QI site becomes free to bind a new COQ molecule. The binding of a new COQ molecule to the freed QI site will begin a new Q cycle. The cytochrome C shuttles one electron from complex 3 to complex IV. Now, important points. The Q cycle is found in all plants and animals as well as in bacteria. The complete structure of complex 3 was determined by X-ray crystallography. Cytochrome C is a soluble protein of the intermembrane space. Please like, subscribe and share.